Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Lark, and this week's book is called Hey, Little Ant. Um, it's an interesting book because um, sometimes uh, people, like this kid in the book, don't always look at the perspective of other things, such as this little ant. So we're going to hear about the interaction between the kid and the ant, and then we'll see what happens. Hope you enjoy the story. Here we go. Hey Little Ant was written by Philip and Hannah Hoos. It was actually a father and daughter wrote this uh, story and it's illustrated by Deborah Tilly. Here we go. Kid. Hey Little Ant, down there in the crack. Can you hear me? Can you talk back? See my shoe? Can you see that? Well, now it's going to squish you flat. <laughs> Aunt, please, oh, please do not squish me. Change your mind and let me be. I'm on my way with a crumb of pie. Please, oh, please, don't make me die. Kid. Anyone knows that ants can't feel. You're so tiny and you don't look real. I'm so big and you're so small. I don't think it'll hurt at all. Ant, but you are a giant and giants can't know how it feels to be an ant. Come down close. I think you'll see that you are very much like me. Kid, are you crazy? Me like you. I have a home and a family too. You're just a speck that runs around. No one would care if my foot came down. Aunt, oh big friend, you are so wrong. My nest mates need me cause I'm strong. I dig our nest and feed baby ants too. I must not die beneath your shoe. Kid. But my mom says that ants are rude. They carry off our picnic food. They steal our chips and breadcrumbs too. It's good if I squish a crook like you. Ant. Hey, I'm not a crook kid. Read my lips. Sometimes ants need crumbs and chips. One little chip can feed my town. So please don't make your shoe come down. Kid. But all my friends squish ants each day. Squishing ants is a game we play. They're looking at me. They're listening, too. They all say I should squish you. Ant. I can see you're big and strong. Decide for yourself what's right and wrong. If you were me and I were you, what would you want me to do? Should the ant get squished? Should the ant go free? It's up to the kid, not up to me. We'll leave the kid with the raised up shoe. 
what do you think that kid should do? All right, boys and girls, that's how the story ends. And it actually was made into a song by Philip and Hannah Hoos. And they leave you to think about, if you were the kid, what would you do? If you were the aunt, how would you feel? And sometimes, boys and girls, that's what we do to each other. We don't always look at things from another person's perspective. And just because someone may look different or act different, we don't think they're as important as we are. But maybe we're wrong and we need to look a little closer. Everybody deserves our respect and everybody deserves our kindness. Sometimes it's hard to be kind, but please try to have the courage to be kind. And should this kid be kind to the ant? Or should he squish him like his friends want him to? All right, everybody. Have a great day, and I'd love to know what you think.